Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yuki Fighter for you. I am here with some more White Chip Pro Duels for you guys today. This time, I'll be going with my Noble Heroes. I just recently picked the deck back up. I played it, I think, around last format a little bit, and I just forgot about it. And I just, you know what? I was just watching a Noble Knight duel. I was like, just thinking, like, I haven't played Noble Knights in a while, or Noble Heroes, that fact. And I remember how much, you know, I how much I played it, and I forgot how much fun the deck was. Noble Heroes is so much fun, and really is such a good deck, and it's a budget deck. It is a lot, it is just such a big budget deck, and it is just ridiculous. So, I have actually four, no, actually, I think only four or five, I don't remember, I think that was, oh, was Ah, well, I got four or five duels, which I feel like. So we'll go Noble Heroes 1 on fighting against the Galia stack. This one, I don't even remember when I recorded it, or when I saved it. It must have been a very long time ago. But, anyway, he's doing his Galia stuff, his Star Beast, I'm taking some damage. He's going to go to first one's damage, but open up so broke. Two Vanillas, a Rota, and a Galleon. That's just so completely stupid. So I normally sell an Archer Guest, especially with Galleon. Exceed into number 50 Black Shepherd Corn, of course, use the effect, sends in mains, they screw you, take a thousand. That's why Black Ship is so good. I, I admit, man, I was using Black Ship before it was cool, man. Actually, you know, it was all, everybody's been using Black Corn one time. So, you just turn, and I believe I draw into a, yeah, draw into a rabbit, I go ahead and do ink off, search stratos, I do alleys, you know, I'm, a, I'm not going to be special in this turn, you know, I could, but I didn't want to, I just want to see what I can get, and I get a warning to the hand. Some Stratos, Search of Stratos, get my alias, and that's kind of basic stuff with the uh, heroes, and I attack for 1800, attack for 2100, and I'm just gonna end things right then and there. Now he makes sort of a very, very good move on his part right here. He gets Snipe Hunter, which, he summons Snipe Hunter, he baits out my warning, I fell for the trap, but Snipe Hunter can be very annoying, he goes for BLS, so like I said, he did a very good move in his part. He baited out my warning with a sniper card because he knows how annoying that card can actually be if you can actually have the luck factor involved in getting the rolls right and popping my shit. But he can't outsmart me. I got the rabbit. I use effect. Summon double smart man since I have smart man in my hand. Go ahead and I wrote a guardian to hand. Spectra summon guardian. Exceed to Omega because Omega's a boss. Super Poly, Discard, Summon Shiny, and he basically surrenders right then and there. Because it's just two of a boss. I got Shining plus an Omega, which Omega is a boss. I love Omega to death. First on Omega is just godly. So next up we have Noble Heroes versus Amazonas. It's funny seeing Amazonas decks. These decks are kind of weird in terms of just decks you don't really see anymore. So um, another reason I'm showing them. So I go, I open up two rabbits. I'm so broken. I'm so broken, people. This is why, you know, I'm like the best player in the world. I'm just so busted. Look, I open up two bunnies. <laughs> talking on my ass now. Of course, I always talk on my ass. That fucking Omega here is just godly. You know, I could have said, I don't play two Omegas. I probably should. I, I guess I forgot about taking Omega, but I summon Double Smart Man, and I exceed into a Paradios. And I attack, he goes in mirror first, but I save my Omega and attach. And I lose Paradios, but at the same time, I'll get his effect to draw a card. And I have a Miracle Fusion play whenever I draw, if I ever draw into a Miracle Fusion, which I think I do on my next turn. So he's playing a weird Amazon deck using Copy Knight, which I haven't seen in a while. He's playing Birth of the Mighty, which kind of hurts my deck because of my heroes and all that stuff. There's a Miracle Fusion, but at the same time, it doesn't really hurt my exceed since, well, they're not levels, they're ranks. So I go and attack his monster, and it is a Command Knight, I attack 2400. It's kind of weird seeing Shining so low in attack. It really is. So he draws into his Sage, and he summons his, his Sage, and I go ahead and summon, I go Torrential because I can get stuff from Shining, I can save my Omega, and I can just get back both of my Sparkmans. Which most people will say is kind of stupid, but I have a Thrasher, plus a Galleon, and a Super Poly. I don't really care about having three vanilla monsters in my hand. So he attacks, uh, dishing 800 damage to him to summon up his Amazon Swordswoman. When I guess he's trying to bait me into something, which he has a copy knight in Amazon's Archer. Uh, I missed his Amazon's Archers, which I forgot exactly what even that did. Well, 
I don't care. I'm going to super poly, and he's going to end. He's like, no. I just remember because I'm going over a guy. I just do stupid shit to him. Next up, let's go to Noble. It's actually Noble Heroes. I call it Noble Nice Baxton. So it's Noble Heroes versus Pure Frogs. This is Pure Frogs. I'm not saying, like, this is actually legit frogs. Look at this. I I used to, I, I love Pure Frogs. I love that shit because it's so hilarious because it's so trollish. But I haven't played, like, Pure Frog deck, I don't know, since Substo got banned. This brings Substo back to 1, but, because I think Mash Driver is banned. Yeah, Mash Driver is banned and Bank Cannon Soldier. Which is like Bank Cannon Soldier, bring Substo back to 1, and that'd be really, really nice because I love Substo. So, I attack, he goes and flip-flops and returns my, uh, my, sh my poor Omega to that, to the extra deck. Like, there's one flaw, monster effects! Who would've thunk it? Since it's a second flip flop frog. Flip flop. Try saying that five times fast. Fa I can't even say five times fast correctly. So he torrentials. Uh, I don't care. I got Miracle Fusion, Banish 2, Summon Shining, Attack for 30 to Hunter. So anyway, worked out for me. I got a Miracle Fusion playoff. And I'm going to get uh, two Smart Rants back in my hand. Whereas normally, again, now it won't be too good. But it's 1600 attack. I don't really care. So he sets his um, his Book of Moon and sets his uh, Ronatonin. I draw into Rota, which I go ahead and Rota, search for Stratos, and then I summon Stratos, and I'm going to use the effect to pop a background instead of the search, but he booked the moves me, so now I'm thinking, oh crap, I am not going to show any background now, because I'll have to pop my own Mirror Force, which that would not be good, and yeah, I probably should have done the searching, but I wanted to go ahead and get the, the car out of the way, because it could have been a Mirror Force, and I don't want to run a Mirror Force. You know, even though I'll get cards back, I, I don't lose my shining. And I'd be completely stupid. So, all I can say is thank God Shadows doesn't, doesn't get his effect when he's foot faced up because, well, I'm foot summoning him. And I'm just going to attack his Roman Tonin, and then I'm going to attack his Shreeborn Frog, which that is for his face down. This duel pretty much goes on for a little while because the foot flops are annoying. Like, pure frogs can be quite annoying to deal with at times. This is going for a Shreeborn Frog, and he's going to. Special is Ronald Tonin, and it's gonna set his flip off frog, which freaking sucks. I swear that thing is annoying as all ends be. But he I summoned my alias, and I'm pretty much going to uh attack his Ronald Tonin, attack his other monster, and he's gonna flip flip off frog, return my stratos, and my shining, well shining to the hand, shining to the extra, so I don't get my two free spark mans, super uber staff face, but I get another free short of stratos. I don't really care. Like I said, I don't really care. I get free Stratos search. So I get a solemn warning, which is really, really nice. So, seven Stratos. In fact, of course, use your shenanigans. Search for an alias. Oh, I'll search for Bubble Man. Uh, it's a good thing I did because I'm going to completely go ape shit on him uh, in the final turn. You'll see what fucking happens. It's hilarious. So I exceed for uh, Gandiva. Set warning. And turn. Because Gandiva's actually not that bad against this deck. Uh, just because he. So he goes Street Run Frog. Change MST to my MST. His my MST. So I change my MST to his MST. He's like, ah, ah, ah. Minus one for you. So he switches to Street Run Frog. And then he tributes his toe. And I go, Solemn Morning. Screw you. He's like, nope, no summons for you. Then he switches to his Ronin Toten. Banishes Special Ronin. I use effect to negate, destroy, digital destroy. He's. Banish is Reborn Frog, which I didn't think he'd actually do, but he really wants that defense, which I don't blame him, but... Hey, look! Apeshit time! Summon Alias! Special Gallion? Special Gallion? Special Bubble Man? Exceed to Blade Armor Ninja? Exceed to Black Horn? Black Horn's effects? Detach? Send, and you would have lost that game because 4,400 damage plus 1,000 damage plus 2,100 total. That was way overkill. I think that would have been ex actually... How much damage would that, would, have, would that have been total? Let's add it up, actually. Let's do some math. Mathy, mathy. Let's see. So he would have taken 1,000 plus 44 plus 21. Wow, it's almost 8,000 damage right there on the board. Holy shit, that is crazy. Well, it's crazy if I had... Yeah, because that... Yeah, that would have, that would have almost been 8,000 damage right there on the board. Because I would have used the facts. So, holy shit, that's crazy. 
Right, let's go Nova Heroes versus Ojamas. Now, I like Ojamas a lot. Wow, this is not what I expected to say. Whoa, okay. This is very, very weird. So he sets his Compulse, sets Bottom, sets the Ojama Blue. And pretty much in his turn, he is, I'm going to summon Stratos. He is going to Bottom, then Chain Valor. This kid does not want me to search out. Because, damn, Bottomless, get rid of Monster, plus a Valor. Holy shit, he just like, just flip, gave me the flip off and just went off laughing. And this is probably one of the weirdest Ojama decks I've ever seen. You know what we're going to do? We're going to look at this deck after this duel. How about that? I'm going to Darko, he's going to pulse his Ojama blue back. That automatically told me when I saw that Ojama go to grave that that was Ojama blue. So I summon Spark Man, summon Bubble Man, Exceed, Blade Armor Ninja, Detach, Attack him for 4,400 damage. Because the Blade Armor is a boss. That bye bye. Just like that, I'm in the lead. So he draws. I knew he had blue in his hand the whole entire time because why would you compulse and face down a monster and a child unless it's blue? Because blue needs to be destroyed by battle. So I summon no one at and I use Blade Armor's effect and attach. So it didn't really matter at that point in time. He lost regardless. But yeah, uh, I want to see his deck real quick. You know, let's let's take a look at his deck. So he's got this stuff. Uh, let's see, I want he's got Drama Country, Junk Synchron, which is you know I use that in dramas as well. Uh, let's see, that's the Drama, yeah, Ojama Magic, and Creature Swap actually a really good card in Ojamas, really is it? Only one Shining Angel. If you're on Shining Angel, you gotta run like three of those little bastards. You go the back to back to back. Oh hi, I got Ojama. Uh, like, how many Ojama Blues is he running? One, two, three, okay, he's running that, and only one Ojama Red? Really? He's be running more Ojama Reds, but I like the text of the uh, Kakaga Magician, the, the Light Race, completely different. Mine's a stun, my Ojamas, the way I run Ojamas is a stun variant of Ojamas. It's a little bit more better, so, um... Let's go level deck, why not? Let's just show this weird. It was actually a pretty interesting deck. It wasn't, it's not what you expect. He's not running Plasma. The only trap he's running is his Psycho, Psychic Shockwave. So, I have a pretty damn good hand. I have Stratos, which opening Stratos and Heroes is always a damn good hand. <laughs> but this is even better. I got Road Up. I got Targets for Garland. It's just really crazy. So I tap 200 off the board. And... I really like his deck, it's really interesting, but I look at the deck, he's only running one trap, which is the Psychic Shockwave, and he's running no Plasmas, which is very weird, and that was some very weird slowdown. Why are you slowing down, computer? Why are you doing that? So, he can't do anything, I'm just waiting to set that. So, battle phase, I'm attacked for 1800. I could have easily overextended, but I didn't want to accidentally run into something like a short Tribute or something like that. So, I kind of want to wait it out. Uh, he activates his Light in the Load, which he... Sends his Arm Dragon level 7 back, draws one, gets another Lightning Load, activates, sends level 8 back, and like, there's some crazy shit, it's like, come on, like, what are the odds of top day and a second Lightning Load? That's crazy. So I go for summon Alias, and I switch on Galleon, XC, go for Omega, Battle Phase, I attack into his Ragnarok, and attack for 2400, because, again, Omega's a boss, he doesn't give a shit about spells and traps. Just see, he doesn't like flip off rocks, because... They shit on him. So, main phase one, he pretty much surrenders because he can't do jack shit, but his deck really wasn't anything too special. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the. Do actually, yeah, no, I'll just show that some type of time. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the five noble hero. Apparently, one noble knight in most of the noble heroes, but the five noble hero duels. Uh, like, hope the ah, I can't say I can't speak today. Apparently, our tonight is like eight p.m. But anyway, I hope you guys, hope you guys enjoy the duels. And yeah, the deck's a lot of fun. You should check it out. You should try it out, whether DN or Pro or IRL. The deck's very budget, and I'll probably get... Not, actually, I almost definitely will give a deck profile uh, probably later on this week. Maybe Thursday. I might give a deck profile of this on Thursday. Uh, for anybody who wants to try out Noble Heroes. So anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and bye.